Well, hello, YouTube, if you can even see me. Hi, how are you? Uh, it's me, Tri-State EDC again, and we've got a little package and a very large package to uh, pop open this evening. So shall we? So let's start with the little guy. Um, this is really cool. This comes from a friend of mine uh, who also has a channel here on YouTube, Screamin' Pirate. If you have not heard of Screamin' Pirate, if you are not subscribed to Screamin' Pirate, if you haven't checked out his incredible Instagram feed, I suggest you do. I will leave links in the description, as I always do, to his stuff. Uh, he reached out to me and said, hey, I was working on these coins and a bunch of people were telling me to get your permission <laughs> to use these. Uh, and that, <laughs> that will make sense here in a second once I open these up. But I'm very excited about these and it was very, very awesome of him to send these along. Uh, great dude. Uh, always, always been a very good dude to me and the channel. So let's see. Ooh. Ah. Oh. oh, there's all kinds of swag you in here, dude. Mom? Oh god. I also love this logo. Uh, okay, nothing, nothing left in there. Goodbye. Screaming Pirate, Viva Mora Leti. I hope I said that right. Please forgive me. Hollow be thy grind. This is why he reached out. Um, he's been making these for a while. I know uh, Hollow be thy grind is kind of our catchphrase on the Sunday morning live streams. I did not invent the saying. I do not own it. But I do appreciate him reaching out. Uh, I, I believe he has some new challenge coins coming out and uh i hope he does send a couple of those over my way whenever they're done but uh yeah there's a there's a little patch here and a couple of magnets so we'll, we'll be giving these away on sun on sunday live streams here in the near future it says uh enjoy this swag for your giveaway the patch is for you it is part of my not yet released upcoming patch set and is the first one in the wild well <laughs> i feel like a classy little bitch thank you man i greatly appreciate it but that is it uh honestly really nice magnets i like it i like the pirate themed font i like it all it's all good stuff and i just wanted to share that on camera blessings be upon you brother pirate arg and all of that uh definitely check out his channel check out his content great dude good stuff and thank you for the goodies man i'm sure the peeps will appreciate them now let's bust open the this massive pack that may or may not jesus May or may not fit on in camera, in frame. Uh, this comes to me by a viewer. From a viewer. Through, via a viewer. I, you'll, hold on. I, we have technology. I can just look it up who it was. Who was it? Which one of you did this? Ah, yes, dude. Uh, Lee DC. Jason Lee DC is his name on Instagram. And, uh, I forget what his, I think his name's just Lee DC. Something Lee DC on YouTube. But he's in the chat often. He's, he's a, a viewer of the channel. And uh, he sent this along for me to check out. I am a very big fan of this. This is my full custom tits out Stormtrooper Kun Wu Tao. Uh, yeah, it's a stunner done by Rocky Top Customs. And uh, we're going to use this to open up this box and you'll understand why here in a moment. Or you already do understand why because you've seen the thumbnail and I don't like to keep secrets. And or I'm just terrible at keeping secrets. Let's get the packing slip out of there try not to destroy myself i did just put this edge on this towel and it's a takes no prisoners man takes no prisoners uh very well packaged Ooh, damn so i gotta tell you my kulu towel when i bought it Hello i bought there. it off a of grateful panic uh john grateful panic has uh, cut me a deal on it i wanted to check one out for the longest time but it didn't come in the original packaging. So this is the first time I've ever seen Kunwu's physical packaging. And it's nice, glossy, em em gold embossed lettering, glossy blue everywhere. And then there is our model name right there, the Kunwu x Tao, KunwuKnives.com. I'll be sure to leave a link to their stuff. Magnetic clasp. You know I'm a sucker for a good clasp. A nice burlap pouch with the most sensationally soft and supple inner lining wow uh as well as the uh, a 
Zatorsky. And replacement Omega Springs. And a replacement clip. This is the way. This is the way. Everyone else, take notes, knife companies. Damn, did you package this up so well? Is this how it came? A little uh, warranty card here, not satisfied. We're really, hard to, uh, we're really sorry to hear that. Let us know what we can do to help. That's nice. Silica gel, my favorite snack. And oh yes, the x -Tow. Uh Yes, please and thank you. Please and thank you. This is the Kunlu x -Tow. In carbon fiber. It is their take on it, like an ultra high-end, once again, sliding bar style lock, right? I played around with uh, John, uh, uh, Javon, John Evans. Javon, good to see you. How you doing? Um, I played around with his at Blade Show, and it rocked my world. I knew it would, just based... Have I already scratched this up? I have. I've already scratched up my beloved... Kunwu. Sad face, but that's okay. It's okay. We live and we learn. So this is, generally speaking, the same knife, right? In profile. Kind of. Mine's a little balls of the wall. But the same backspacer as before. Slightly different clip. This has like a titanium deep carry clip. This has like a wire clip going on. Which I love a good wire clip when it's done right. Also, carbon fiber. We have these wild thumb triangles going on. Nice, thick, hardy blade stock. Definitely a hair lighter than mine. But, uh, dude. Whoop. Yeah. Dude. The way they've done this sliding bar lock. First off, these little nubbins that you get a hold of are a breeze, dude. You just... You just... <laughs> you just barely pinch them. And that blade swings home. I mean, it is borderline frictionless. It's so insane. Now, look. The detent, it, you know what I mean. There's not a ton of it. You, if you want it opened, you gotta, you gotta want it. You know what I mean. You gotta really want it. That being said, man, that action on the close just gets me going, man. It just gets me going, and it's so smooth. Everything about it, start to finish, is so smooth, man. God. Uh, so no skeletonization on the liners in there at all, but. It's so light, you know. It doesn't really matter. Again, like the original Kun Wu Tao. Uh, nice belt satin finish. I believe this is an LMAX. Yep, so mine's an M390. This is an LMAX. First production, 327 of 400. I believe these are sold out at the moment. But I will still leave a link to KunWuKnives.com. Man, Ergos, choke back. Feels great. No jimping on the blade spine, but it's not a, it's not a deal breaker. That wire clip completely disappears in the hand. No issues. You can kind of choke up to about here, but we do not have a traditional forward finger choil. Again, not a big deal. Pinch grip, all day. All day, any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Now, he said this is factory fresh. He's never cut it. He's, he's never cut with it. He's never carried it. Man, they just did such a great job. Running on bearings, and it's just... The action is just... Mind blowing, dude. It's fucking mind blowing. And it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I just love that knife in profile. It's a clean looking piece, man. Very clean. We ought to cut something with it. Here's my biggest gripe, by the way, with Kunwu knives. Their belt satins are the most horrendous fingerprint magnets in all of knifedom. I don't think. It, it, and they're impossible to clean. I don't know what is on them or what they're. Like. There's some kind of weird coating on them from the factory or what it is. But that's why I ended up... Co I'm so glad I ended up coating my blade. It's because that belt satin just... Once it took a fingerprint, it wasn't coming off. Until you, like, soaked it in rubbing alcohol and bleach and scrubbed the tits off of it. But that doesn't take away from the fact that, that these things cut with the best of them. So let's try it out. Let's try out this factory fresh Kunwu Tao. x towel. Yeah. Money. Full flat grind. Couple of little micro burr action. Little uh, micro chips. Maybe it just needs a burr knockdown. But it still got so well. This is a new phone book, by the way. I know they still make them. And uh, it, the paper's a little more finicky than it has been in the past. 
Don't know if they switch to a new paper supplier or what the deal is. But it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't take away from the fact that that thing wants to cut. What a great looking piece. Uh, Mr. Lee DC, I greatly appreciate you sending this over to me to check out. Um, I've been meaning to for ages and I meant to buy one, but I just got, you know, how things go. Blade Show was coming up. I needed to be a good boy, but it's here now. This is not the full review, just the uh, unboxing first impressions. There will be a full review at some point in the near future. Whenever this one's done. This I've had this knife for like, what, six months? I haven't reviewed it yet. Sorry, guys. Please forgive me. Uh, but I love this knife. This will get a glowing review. And I, so far, you know, first impressions are solid. I do wish that action was a little snappier on the open. But once you kind of get it figured out, man, it just... <laughs> I can't believe how well that thing just drops. Nuts. Kunu Wexed out. That is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye now.